So in this lecture, we are going to see problems of the type dx upon p is equal to dy upon q is equal to dz upon r. We know that these problems are equivalent to solving the problems of pp plus qq equal to r. So let's take the first question y plus 1 p plus x plus 1 q is equal to z. So this is equivalent to saying that dx upon y plus 1 is equal to dy upon x plus 1 is equal to dz upon z. The first two terms involve x and y only. So if I cross multiply them and bring x and y to their respective sides, it will become very easy. So when I integrate it, I will get x plus 1 whole square minus y plus 1 whole square is equal to the constant. I'm going to call that constant c1. So this is the first solution. Now if I look at the first two quantities carefully and z is alone here, but if I just add them, if I just add these two quantities, what will happen? I will get dx plus dy upon x plus y plus 2 is equal to dz upon z. This dx plus dy can also be written as d of x plus y plus 2 because the derivative of 2 is 0. So this is x plus y plus 2 is equal to dz upon z and therefore now I can simply integrate it and this will become what log of x plus y plus 2 minus log z is equal to log of constant and therefore x plus y plus z upon x plus y plus 2 upon z is equal to constant c2. This will become my second solution. Okay, let us solve this question now. Now we know that this is uh, equivalent to what? This is equivalent to x square plus y square into p plus 2xy into q is equal to x plus y z. So if I look at the first and the second quantities, what am I going to get here? If I simply add them, I will get dx plus dy is upon x square plus y square plus 2xy. Why did I add them? Because I have x plus y on the right hand side, which is dz upon x plus y into z. And this will become x plus y the whole square. And that x plus y will the whole square will cancel with one of the x plus y, which is sitting on the right hand side. So that I will get dx upon dx plus dy upon x plus y whole square is equal to dy upon x plus y into z and this one of this will cancel with it so that this will become what this will become log of x plus y minus log z is equal to log of c so this means that x plus y plus upon z is equal to constant so this is the first solution now, if I just look at the first and the second carefully, what am I going to get? I'm going to get dx upon x square plus y square is equal to dy upon 2xy. Now, I can convert this into a homogeneous differential equation. There are two, two ways to do this. So, I can either write dx upon dy equal to x square plus y square upon 2xy or I can write it as dy by dx is equal to 2xy upon x square plus y square. So which one is easy? When you have the denominator is a single quantity, your denominator has two quantities, x square and y square added. So your denominator has a single term. So that that differential equation goes easy okay so the therefore i will not in consider this so i will consider remember this trick okay so i will consider dx upon dy is equal to what x square plus y square upon 2 xy this is a homogeneous differential equation with the, where x is dependent and y is independent so what is the substitution in the homogeneous differential equation x is equal to vy okay if it was with dy by dx i will substitute y equal to vx 
Now when I differentiate with respect to y, what will I get here? dx by dy will be equal to by the product rule, I will get v plus y into dv by dy, correct? And therefore this dx by dy can now be replaced by what? v plus y dv by dy by this equation is equal to what is the right hand side? The right hand side will become what? x square x square will become v square y square plus y square upon 2 x is v a v y into y. So the y will cancel out. So I will get v plus y dy by dx y dv by dy sorry is equal to the v y squares have cancelled and I will get v square plus 1 upon 2 v. So when I shift this plus v on that side it will become minus v so I will get y dv by dy is equal to v square plus 1 upon 2 v minus v and this will become v square plus 1 minus 2 v square so this will become 1 minus v square upon 2v and this will become y dv by dy. Shifting that v terms together I will get 2v upon 1 minus v square dv is equal to dy by y and now I can integrate it if I multiply here by minus signs out this becomes the derivative and of 1 minus v square so it is minus of derivative upon the function and this is nothing but log y plus some log of some constant okay which we will adjust accordingly and what is this equal to this is minus log of f what is f f is 1 minus v square is equal to log y plus some log of some constant and therefore I will write it as log of y plus log of 1 plus v square and I will write it as log of some constant where I have just replaced this plus sign by a minus sign okay let me call it just like this and this is fine so this will mean that it will be log of y plus y into 1 plus v square and that log will go away is equal to some constant and what is v equal to actually what was x equal to x was vy right so v is equal to x upon y so this means this is y into 1 plus x square by y square is equal to constant which is nothing but I'm sorry here is a minus sign so, um, yes so this will become this will become y minus x square upon y is equal to some constant I'm calling it now c2 c c2 so let us solve this sum now here you can clearly see that dx upon 2x plus y plus z square now this is the sum is equivalent to what this sum is equivalent to solving the differential equation the pd uh, 2x y plus z square p plus y into 2y plus z square Q and this is equal to Z cube. Look here carefully. Here there is no x. It involves only y and z. Here there is a z cube and here there is a z square. So if I multiply by a z here, I may get a z cube. So when I consider the first two ratios and I multiply by z, I will get z dy upon what will I get here? 2y into z square with of y plus y z cube now I have a z cube here also so I will multiply the other thing by y dz and here I will get what y z cube so if I add them what will happen I will not subtract them otherwise still I will gain nothing if I subtract them because this term will not cancel with anybody right so I will not subtract them so this is what I'm getting but what is the left hand side if I keep the left hand side as it is it is dx upon what 2x into y plus z square okay am I gaining anything so this is nothing but z dy plus y dz 
and this is 2y square z plus 2y z cube so this term is coming two times and when you take that z dy plus y dz upon here if i take a 2 common and a y and a z common i'm going to get y plus z square that y plus z square will cancel my left hand side y plus z square so this cancels away the two cancels away and this is now eventually looking what this is eventually looking as what dx upon x is equal to dyz upon yz right and therefore when i integrate uh, the things now i'm going to get what log x minus log of yz is equal to some constant log of c1 and therefore ultimately i'm going to get x minus yz is equal to c1 so this actually solves my first part so the first part of the solution is done now we will uh, just so in this part we have involved x also but we have already observed that the first and the second ratio I'm sorry the second and the third ratio were involving only y and z so if i just solve this differential equation in y and z i will probably get the second solution so let me write those two things over there so dy upon y into 2y plus z square dy upon what y into 2y plus z square is equal to dz upon z cube correct now again i will uh, i have two options with me so i can either write it as dy upon dz or uh, if i write it as dy upon z dz i will get i will get 2y square plus z z square into y upon z cube correct this is what i will get and if i write dz upon dy if i write dz upon dy i will get z cube upon y into 2y plus z square so which one is easy i have told you earlier that if the denominator has a single term that usually becomes easy so this part i will this i will omit and i will write dy upon dz is 2y square plus z to z square y upon z cube okay so that z cube i can divide to both of them so i can write dy upon dz is equal to 2y square upon z cube plus y upon z okay now this also doesn't really looks a good differential equation right now but this we just divide it by y square this is 1 upon y square dy by dz is equal to 2 upon z cube and this will become 1 upon y square into y upon z so that one the y will get cancelled and i will get 1 upon y into 1 upon z so this now uh, suggests me something that the derivative of uh, what is the derivative of 1 upon y the derivative of 1 upon y is minus 1 upon y square into dy by dx so that is probably going to help me so what i will do is i will for the time being let me write it a bit simpler for you so let me write 1 upon y dy by dz minus 1 upon y into 1 upon z is equal to 2 upon z cube okay i hope you are understanding what i'm trying to do i'm trying to convert it into a linear differential equation so i will say just put this minus 1 upon y wherever whatever you see here you get if i substitute it by different variables say u what is the derivative of minus 1 upon y with the derivative of minus 1 upon y is minus minus 1 upon y square into dy by dz i'm differentiating with respect to z is equal to du by du by dz so this means that this first quantity i can replace by what du by dz okay and then minus 1 upon y i'm going to replace by u into 1 upon z and i'm getting a 2 upon z cube now do you see that it is a linear differential equation in the 
variable u and the derivative is with respect to derivative is with respect to z okay what is the integrating factor of this linear differential equation the integrating factor is e raised to integral p dx who is p dx here who is p dz which is e raised to integral p p is minus 1 upon z this is your integrating factor with this minus sign dz right which is e power log z and uh, this is uh, this, this minus sign is not going to come because already minus 1 upon y is u so this is a plus sign okay i, I don't want to it's a broccoli so it's e, e power log z which is equal to just z so therefore what is the solution given by in that case the solution is given by what for this linear differential equation it is the independent variable multiplied by integrating factor is integration of the right hand side which is 2 upon z cube into integrating factor dz plus constant here you have a dependent variable here you have the integrating factor is equal to right hand side multiplied by integrating factor plus constant this is how you get the solution right so which is equal to u z is equal to integration 2 upon z square with the integration of 2 upon z square is minus 1 upon z into 2 so i'll write it down directly plus constant what is u equal to who was u equal to u was minus 1 upon y so i will get minus y minus z upon y is equal to minus 2 upon z plus constant which is equivalent to say that 2 upon z minus z upon y is some constant c2 which is 2y minus z square upon yz is c2 so this becomes your second solution Okay, let us now try to solve this type of equation. So we know that this equation is equivalent to solve the partial differential equation x cube plus 3xy square into p plus y cube plus 3x square y into q is equal to 2 into x square plus y square. Okay, so look at the first two terms carefully. The, uh, all the terms are involving only the x and y okay i'm sorry with the question here you have a z on the right hand side let me make that correction here also. okay so this is the correct question still the first and the second ratios have only x and y so what will i do is I, if i add them simply dx plus gy in this case whenever something is symmetric sometimes the addition and the subtraction really helps a lot okay so if i add them I will get x cube plus 3xy square plus 3x square y plus y cube. On the right hand side, I will get x cube minus 3x square y plus 3xy square minus y cube, which is I have written in this format because I know that dx plus dy upon x plus y whole cube is equal to dx minus dy upon x minus y whole cube and this is as good as looking as du upon u cube and this is looking as dv upon v cube what is u u is x plus y and what is v v is x minus y and therefore when i integrate i will get minus half u raised to minus 2 is equal to minus half v raised to minus 2 plus some constant amount of power c1 later on or c2 whatever and therefore what is u equal to therefore this will get minus 1 upon x plus y whole square i'm pushing the halves on that side plus 1 upon x minus y whole square and i'm going to call that c1 so this gives me my first solution which does not involve a z now in some or the other way we have to involve the z in the picture so what was dx upon equal to so dx upon x cube plus 3 x y square is equal to dy upon y cube plus 3 x square y is equal to dz upon 2 x square plus y square into 
z okay now here i have a z alone so here i have to do some adjustment with x and y what is the first trial that i have to do you have to say x dx y dy z dz but already you have a, have lots of x on in the denominator lots of y's in the denominator so instead of taking multiplying by x y z what if i divide by x on this so what will be x dx when i divide by x i will get x square plus 3y square what will happen if i divide by y i will get y square plus 3x square and what will happen if i divide by z here because i'm using division by here so the z will cancel and we'll get in what 2 into x square plus y square do you see some something good is happening here that if i add them if i add them i will get x square plus 3x square will become 4x square and 3y square plus y square will become 4y square and that x square plus y square will cancel with the right hand side so this means that 1 upon x dx plus 1 upon y dy is equal to 1 upon z dz or you can take a subtraction so that it becomes 0 so this will become 4 x square plus y square and here i'll get 2 x square plus y square and this x square plus y square gets cancelled off and this will become log x plus log y is equal to this 4 and 2 will cancel and you'll get what 2 log z plus log of some constant and this equivalently means that x y upon z square is equal to some constant this becomes your second solution let us see the last problem of this lecture so if i look at dx upon x into y minus z y into z minus x z into x minus y note that the denominator is cyclic what do you mean by cyclic x is replaced by y y is replaced by z and z is replaced by x you get this again if you replace the same notations you will get this if you replace the same notations you will get this so this equation is cyclic in this case the solution becomes very easy to find simply observe that if i odd add all of them i will easily get all the terms will get xy will get cancelled with minus xy here this x y will get cancelled a minus x z will get cancelled with this x z and y z will get cancelled with this y z and the denominator will quickly become zero so this means that when i integrate i will get x plus y plus z is equal to constant okay again the equation is cyclic so again something easy is going to happen if i just look at one upon x dx and if i look one upon y dy and one upon z dz again the denominators are y minus z z minus x and x minus y again because this is also cyclic if i just add them i will just get the denominator will cancel each other and i will get 1 upon x dx plus 1 upon y dy plus 1 upon z dz is equal to 0 and therefore when i integrate it what will i get i will get log x plus log y plus log z is equal to this log constant and this means that x y z will become some constant so we got the two solutions